Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second-round game between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and the Florida Gators. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Gators are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Next, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Finally, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. He rejects it. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He tries to knock down the three. Oh, yes. Receives the pass. There was no doubt about that one. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed the low block. The point guard receives the ball. Working around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. I think they're trying to make a statement. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. High post flashes. No Got a post. nice screen. Takes the shot. Got it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. There it is, Jam City. Now they work it around the perimeter. Chandler, pump fakes. Down inside. He up fakes. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Oh, what a strip, Red. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. They work the perimeter. They go into the low block. Dick, not a bad drop step, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Look at that spacing. Cotton handles the feed. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He puts up the three ball. Way off target. the pass. He shoots from long range. Tickles a twine. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Got some room. Ten on the shot clock. He shoots from the top of the circle. He knocks down another bucket there. This kid's got skills, Brad. Now trying to feed the low block. May is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. That's a 7 nothing run. They'll work it around the arc. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Sets the screen for his teammate. He gets the board. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Double team now, bad angle. He launches the bomb. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Stolen. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot. Playing the and throw the lob pass over the top. You get help, you can take that pass away. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post player flashing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw some contact. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Gave it up. Shoots from outside. He shows the sweet touch. The high screen. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen.
The skip pass is picked off. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. The Gators have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. From three-point territory. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes. Almost came up with a steal there. Hey, almost can get a seat on a bench. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying and field. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Trying to draw the foul, and he scores despite the hack. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. Terry look from three-point land for two. Nice shot. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Working around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Buried it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Look at that spacing. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Looks at a three. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. 
Florida are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Picked off, pushes it up with a quarterback pass. There's the pick, there's the roll. Leans in. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. They've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the top of the circle, they just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Going to move it around the perimeter. Hicks, it's mediocre play, has really gotten to him. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. On the outside, Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, terrible execution on offense. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. He takes the shot off the baseline. Up and inside. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. They'll work it around the arc. He takes it away. the dribble gives it up the ball goes out of bounds oh that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you turnovers can absolutely destroy a team time to pick up the defense here now the post flashes up high if he wants it Set that screen away. Shoots. Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Gave it up. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. And the 
ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. What a bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The Hilltoppers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Locks it. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Here it is. They should have gotten through him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Two for one opportunity. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And now they'll bring it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He strips him clean. Shot clock is dead. Goes in. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Launches it. In and out. At the end of the first half, the Gators are ahead by 13. Nick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. All right, Dick. Let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Lund has really been unbelievable on offense, Dick. He's just totally lived up to the billing we expected from him. I tell you, Brad, he's done an excellent job moving without the ball and also done a great job responding when the ball is in his hand. Everyone responded as a result of his strong play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Good job defensively. For the bucket. Great shot. Now 
they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. He takes the shot. He gets it to fall. The Hilltoppers trail by 17. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Makes the shot. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. For two, basket falls despite the contact. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Dumps it in. Intercepted. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Stolen away. And numbers right here. For the deuce. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. so far you know what for me brad good guard play will take you a long ways if you think about teams in the past they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure attack off the dribble and distribute the ball i can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is he takes the hard hack in the air but he lays the ball in that's what you take for the team brad my goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. The Gators will step to the line for the first time. Gets it. They scored nine in a row. Momentary look from three-point land. The Hilltoppers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Up and inside. They'll work it around the arc. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries for two. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They're working around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Dad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Easy one. The Hilltoppers are trailing by 22. Number 15, supplying pressure and looking for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Florida have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. There they come with a double team to stop it. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. The power forward takes the feed. Up fake. Steal. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. On the outside. Gave it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. There's the trap. He goes for three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. And that one's blocked. The point guard with the ball. Up and inside. The shooting guard takes the pass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass
Went away from the post and goes the other way. He puts up the tray. The Hilltoppers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Granny's on fire. Jumped in front to take it away. The Gators are almost expected to be at the national tournament these days. The recent success has garnered greater expectations. That's why it's so important to make it to the tournament. Once you get there, you then know what it takes to get back there. Steals the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. From three-point land, makes the shot. The Hilltoppers are trailing by 18. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint for two. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the key. Makes it. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. And the ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit side. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Up and inside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. The Hilltoppers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The point guard gets the ball. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Florida are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Look at that spacing. Oh. 
Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's blocking baby. Biggie B, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes the shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He makes a nice shot fake. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. From the top of the key. Rims out. Goes up for two. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Pump fakes. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. Spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Up and inside. The power forward gets the pass for the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Arm and foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. Working around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Steals the pass. Ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. He drains the shot. Basin. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Now the high.
high screen. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Obvious foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He takes the shot from the baseline. Knocks it down. Number 34 with the fake. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Up for the lay-in. There it is again. And the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And we got a whistle and a foul. You're talking about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He's got some room. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He buries the shot. Post screen. On the outside. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Got a nice screen. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I tell you, when this game ran, and you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Florida graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.